how could a loving God send people to hell? Especially someone who has never heard about Christ. In fact, Paul mentions, God has revealed himself plainly in the creation to all people. And yet people reject even this basic knowledge of God. Also, everyone has an inner sense of what God requires, but they choose not to live up to it. Put another way, people's moral standards are always better than their behavior. If people suppress God's truth in order to live their own way, they have no excuse. They know the truth and they will have to endure the consequences of ignoring it. Look, when anyone sins, they know they're sinning. They know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am in wrong. No one has to tell me anything. Their conscience is speaking to them and they're aware. Wow. Revelations 20, 1 through 15 reveals that death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. My God, death and hell are thrown into the lake of fire. God's judgment is finished. The lake of fire is the ultimate destination of everything wicked, Satan, and all those who hate God. The beast also will be there. The false prophet will be there. The demons, the antichrist, death, Hades will be there. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that death will be destroyed. Death won't even last in hell. It will be destroyed. My God, all those names that are not recorded in the book of life because they did not place their faith in Jesus Christ. John's vision does not permit any gray areas in God's judgment. If by faith we have not identified with Christ, confessing him as Lord, there will be no hope, no second chance, no other appeal. Let me tell you something, that is a scary thing. People feel as though that, well, Satan will be in hell, sticking people with a sinner's fork and stabbing them and, and tormenting them. No, this is not true, this is not true biblically true hell was made for satan and his angels and all those who forget god my god understand this that hell in other words satan and all demons will be tormented in hell it's not a place where he's going to be tormenting anyone he actually will be tormented wow because unfortunately this will be the final state of the unsaved. What is the final state of the unsaved? My God, after their judgment, because every man will stand in judgment. The Bible says that it is appointed unto man to die, and after death is the judgment, where they will stand before the Almighty God. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that God had given His Son power and authority to judge all the earth. Why? Because first of all, He's the one who died for all of humanity. So, anyone who tells you that God will be doing it, no, Jesus Himself will be doing the judging. That's very clear in Scripture. The unsaved will be cast into the lake of fire, according to Revelations 20, 15, or hell. Matthew 10, 28, and Matthew 23 through 33 will give you a fuller understanding as to what we're talking about here, the final state of all those who are unsaved. A place originally prepared for Satan and his angels, demons, according to Matthew 25, 41. Hell is described as a place of fire, so there will be fire consume a consuming destructive destroying fire and it's not going to destroy all those who are who will have an eternal body because the eternal body or the soul will not die it can't be destroyed it will be nothing but torment and suffering and pain let's go into it I want you to read mark 9 verse 43 
and Revelations 20, 15. The Bible is very clear that there will be darkness. It will be a very uh, dark place, a place full of fire and a place full of darkness. According to 2 Peter 2, verse 17 and Jude 13. There will be worms, the Bible says in Mark 9, 48, that dieth not. Can you imagine that? Worms, so those of you who hate roaches, those of you who hate insects and worms and all these different things, the Bible is very clear. There will be massive maggots. There will be worms that will bring torment to humanity. And to understand that, uh, that I can skip all of this by simply accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior is beyond human comprehension. How can you miss this? Today is the day of salvation. Now is the day. Today is the day. Right now is the time to give your life to Jesus Christ. Not tomorrow. Right now. Because time is winding up. My God. There will also be an, aware, an awareness of God's absence. According to Matthew 7, 23. And 2nd, excuse me, and 2nd Thessalonians 1, verse 9. You will know that God is not there. You will sense and know that his presence is not there. That, according to scripture in the book of Revelation, is the second death. The second death is complete separation from God. Where God, and the Bible says that even if one lays their bed in hell, he is there. Yes, God is omnipresent. He is everywhere. But because he's everywhere, for those who have rejected God, the Bible says very clearly, God will be there because, he, because he's omnipresent, but you will not sense his presence. You will not feel his presence because his presence will be removed from every person who has rejected him here on earth. Oh my God. Jesus is the way. Today is the day of salvation. Don't hesitate. You need to give your life to Jesus Christ. Surrender your heart to the Lord. You need to be a part of a Bible teaching church that teaches about how to follow Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about uh, religious uh, uh, dogma. No, we're, we're talking about a, a church that will show you the truth of God's word and teach you how to be a disciple of Jesus Christ.